What's up, guys? How are you doing? Welcome to another day of The Outer Worlds, where today and every day we're gonna start role playing. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start acting for my character since he kind of looks like me. I'll start actually. I'll be the voice acting. T starting today. I'll do the voice acting for my own character, and uh, we'll see how well that works. But let's get to it. We have 10 skill points available, bro. Nice. Hello? Anybody in my ship? If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Thank you. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Ah, fine. Go get the regulator. Boss ball stick. DPS 67. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Off to adventure. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Really? After I patched up your friend? Yeah, fair point. Now I'll let it go this time. If Thank you're looking you. to help us out with our marauder problem, talk to Constable Reyes over in Edgewater. Thanks, Edgewater's I'll do that. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, Will do. Excuse me. I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Aye, aye, Captain. Or Lieutenant. Take care. Okay, let's go. Hmm. What's up over here? Hmm. Got people here. Can I sneak up on these guys? Are you though? Come out! Come out! Come out! Hey! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that hurt. This is one flippin' tough stick. Okay, how do I heal? Do I heal by eating? Need to sneak up on something. Look at it. It looks so creepy. Hmm. 
You don't see me, because I don't see me. Run around the tent! Ugh. Ugh. Uh oh. Hold on, let me heal. Okay, I healed. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Oh, she's so beautiful. Wonder if there's loot down there. Oh man, look at this place! Absolutely beautiful. Oh man, look at this! This is really quite amazing. Okay, well, we made it back up here. Hey, we found the cemetery. What's up, guys? Oh, hey, where'd you come from? Uh, the river? Running around in a marauder's attire. Mm, you're liable to give some people the wrong idea. Oh, my bad. Don't be so you sure. I could be for a, marauder. a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Are you a walking ad? <sighs> sure, um, but I never got your name. I I'm Kink. Pleased to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. No, I'm good. Name's Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. So, who do I talk to about a power regulator? Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Mm. Head into town, follow the road. Okay. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? No, I just, you know, I just woke up. I, I, you don't want to know, bro. Okay. Uh, it does real. It really doesn't matter uh, if you, depends really on the work. Are you offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Wait, wait. You're making people pay. For their own graves? Company policy. If it was up to me, I'd put the whole town ten feet under. Free of charge. Savage. <sighs> Alright, I I guess I'll collect some fees for you. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. Fine. Where can I find these people? Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. Okay. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. Thank you for your time. What are these? Into Edgewater. Barber shop. What's up, Conrad? Merciful law. Is that a marauder's outfit? Please don't touch anything. Your hands are probably crawling with germs. Relax, bro. I'm clean. So everyone says. Until someone forgets to cough into their elbow, and then we're all dying of plague. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. Um, well, I have another matter to attend to. Uh, Silas, 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 sent me here to collect your dues. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. Mm-hmm. Meaning you're broke. As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. 
I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. Wow, bro. That is some quality drama. Should addition. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Hey, hang on. Medical rights? What are you talking about? Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. <sighs> just... Just give Silas an IOU. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Ah, well... I don't know right now, but... I'll let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Don't mind me. Receptionist shot himself. This is bad. Gonna call it for what it is. Destruction to spaces truce property. Wow. Savagery. What can I do for you? So I was looking back there and I I know about you, G. You Why not use his teeth as collateral? Uh, I found I found a note from Phyllis. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. Aww. He took them to his grave. I'm right, I'm right there with you, man, but they were probably worth a few bits. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? I guess just ask for, for forgiveness from the vicar later. The good vicar Maximilian and I have never quite seen eye to eye, but your point is well taken. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Okay. Well, glad we dealt with that. Have a lovely day, sir. The way it goes, I suppose. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. Hi. We are Halcyon's leading brand in frontier justice. Oh, you are. The office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one. Oh, free. nice. Sam carts. Mm, well, if you need help with your marauder problem. As a Spacer's Choice constable, I am authorized to grant you legal authority toward apprehending wanted criminals. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. Okie dokes. Something else I can do for you? No, um, I think we're good. Thanks for answering my questions. Friend of mine died a couple weeks back. Burger joint? Yes, Mr. Thompson. I'm fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Uh, Martin Abernathy? Oh, sweet merciful law. A marauder's in my domicile. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Take it. Take it easy. I'm I'm not a marauder. There's a reason you're running around out like one of I haven't, monsters? I haven't bought a new outfit. Mr. Thompson yet. send you to put the fear in me? Take it easy. Take it easy. Mr. Thompson did send me. And what are you doing here? Look, I'm not looking for trouble. I'm just here to collect. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. He knows what? I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. Hmm. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. 
It's plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave, and now he wants to charge me for the other one. Very sorry to hear that. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. Yeah. Well, I'll pay world. the fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelance him for me. Oh, sure, I buddy. I really use the help. Yeah, I'll do some freelancing for you. Yeah. No, how can I help? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. Okay. I need you to break it, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. Not so fast. I, I have some questions first. I can. Um. Why can't you bring the medicine yourself? I tried medicating myself with Adrena time. Didn't do much for me, as far as I can tell. Mm. Anyway, I can't just buy medicine. Distribution of medicine is strictly prohibited to any workers beneath the acceptable margin of health. Oh. Company policy. In other words, the company won't treat you because you're already sick. More like the company won't treat me because I'm not healthy enough. Isn't that the way? I assume there are guards. You will not find any guards within sight of that old place. Marauders, on the other hand. Hmm, okay. So you'll do it then? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. I'll get it. I'll get it. You know, you're taking an awful risk trusting me. I know that. But I got nobody else to turn to. Reed would have wrote me up. Constable would have locked me up and wrote me up. Could have gone to see the good vicar, but I never did find my courage. Hmm, well. I'll leave you be. You're making a mistake working for Abernathy. Oh, really? Excuse me. I'm Esther Blaine, mm -hmm. Spacer's Choice Actuary. I overheard your talk. Are you really? Abernathy. Yeah. I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine. Why? Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac. Anthracillin is wasted on him. You're better off selling it to me instead. He's got symptoms of something. And you're saying it's psychosomatic. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. What do you need it for? I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. I don't care if I'm flippin' implicated. Let me worry about that. All right. That. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town, and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, <sighs> so I'm reaching out to you. I get it. You need someone to smuggle you medicine under the table. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of lawbreaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. I'll think about it. That's all I can ask of you. Hello? 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 I was in your workshop. Now I'm in your house. Hello? Um. And none of this stuff is stealing. Why is, why am I not, why is none of this stuff stealing? Is this my house? I can't freaking open up anything without bringing up my gun as well. Hey, you hear about Wilson? Heard Marauders got in. Just between us, Wilson deserted. Lost his nerve. Ran off in the thick of night. You're kidding me. Damn. Always oh, thought he was made of sturdy stuff. I think he was plagued. <laughs> Guess he didn't want to die in the sick house. Plagued? Ah, oh, shit. I had some of this tall too, but... You moron.
Hello? Hello? Oh, vending machine discovered. Nice! Let's go with a medium. Go ahead and wear it. Now we're looking pretty good. Hey, Phyllis! You the What's new up, worker? Phyllis? Whatever. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. I will. Um, I'm guessing you're the foreman? Foreman Granger. Mind those words don't come out of your mouth unless preceded by yes or right away or thank you. Mm-hmm. Well, fortunately, it's gravesite thieves. I'm, gr I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that? Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. I'll let you get back to work. Wow. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You had a minute. Next one comes out of your pay. He's off the threats, friend. I'm going. Boss's orders. We all got quotas to make. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? Really pretty in here. Oh, here's the vicar. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. Hey. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. Mm, my my requests are much more simple than that. I am looking for a power radio. Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. Why is that? Marauders are about. Ooh. Though if you are planning on venturing outside, I do have a proposition that may interest you. Hmm. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. Sounds fascinating. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval wow. efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Yeah, um, I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. And will do. Oh, it's just so beautiful. Ah, Baser's Choice Cantina. I have found ye. Barkey. Amelia. I don't know you. <laughs> uh, I'm Alex Hawthorne, captain of the Unreliable. Uh huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. 
I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hardworking company folk here. <laughs> what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I understand. I can get you a drink if you'd like. So, um, what's your story? I don't see how that's any of your business. <laughs> I'm not trying to judge you. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's worked Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad I disabused myself. Mm. She had a dream of being a scientist. What happened? What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I dream just didn't never have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. That sounds perfect. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like when are you going to pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold refreshing zero G? Asking questions is the foundation of science. But asking questions is the foundation of science. The best scientists, the best scientists ask too many. Don't talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. Hmm. Lab work ain't for me. Never was, never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong, and for that, I am grateful. Sounds like Spacer's Choice took care of you. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. So, you've been scrubbing dishes all your life? What's wrong with that? It's good, honest work. Pots and pans don't scrub themselves. Glasses don't fill themselves either. No, they don't. Unless you're in Byzantium. I hear everything's automated there. Not that I'll ever find out. Oh, I almost forgot. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. Plague got you feeling woozy? Get yourself boozy with Spacer's Choice. Um, before I go, I'll have a drink. Coming right up. Burr. The town leader. The grease monkey, Argo. I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking. Seems we've got a guest. Oops. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. No worries. Uh, are you Reed? Uh, I was told I should talk to you. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think you may have the wrong idea. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Well, my ship needs repairs. Uh, I'm looking for a power radiator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself really? in the process. 
Let's hear it. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly uh. abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Mm. Once their power is shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. Sounds good. But when you say mostly abandoned, what do you mean? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there. Really? <sighs> well, what a surprise. Or what a guess. I am not trying to pull one over on you, friend. You were bound to run into them sooner or later. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Just tell me what I need My to do. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Hmm. <sighs> Uh, how will I recognize Adelaide? Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Hmm. You know, those workers must have left town for... That reason was me. I asked too much and pushed too hard. But I am ready to make amends if they are willing to return to the fold. Okay. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. <sighs> okay, all right, Reed. I'll, I'll see what I can do to help you. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. I You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Yeah, sure. I could use the company. Great! I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. <laughs> well, let's get going. <laughs>